this video we're going to look at line symmetry. So who have got a heart with a line of symmetry? The reason this is a line of symmetry is because if you were to fold it over from this side over to this side, it would fit exactly on top of itself. Likewise, if you fold it the other way, it would fit exactly on top of itself. Therefore, this is a line of symmetry. Let's have a look at another shape. So here we've got a semicircle. This one has got a horizontal line of symmetry through the middle. Again, if you were to fold it down, it would fit exactly on top of itself. And likewise, if you fold it up, it would fit exactly on top of itself. This time we've got a rectangle. Now, a rectangle's got two lines of symmetry. If you were to look at the vertical line of symmetry, if you were to fold it over this way, it would fit on top of itself. And let's look at the horizontal line of symmetry. If you were to fold it this way, it would fit exactly on top of itself. So it's got two lines of symmetry. Don't, however, think that it's got four. If you were to draw a line of symmetry through the corners here to here, this side would reflect down here, so it wouldn't fit onto this corner over here. Okay? So a rectangle has only got two lines of symmetry. Only a square, where well, a square has got four lines of symmetry, it's got a vertical line, like so, because it would fold over this way. It's got a horizontal line, like so. And please draw these with a ruler in your book whenever you draw them. So it would have a uh, horizontal line of symmetry, like so, it would uh, fold over this way and look exactly the same. Also, a square's got a line of symmetry this way. Because if you were to fold it over diagonally, it would fit exactly on top of itself. And likewise, if you were to fold it over that way, it would have a line of symmetry. So that means that it's got four lines of symmetry. Now, regular shapes have got the number of lines of symmetry as the number of sides it's got. For instance, an equilateral triangle has got three lines of symmetry. A square has got four lines of symmetry. A regular pentagon has got five lines of symmetry, and so on. Okay, now let's have a look at a couple of exam questions. So, we've got the letters A, E, F, H, M, and N. They're all capital. It says, write down one letter, one letter, from the list which has no lines of symmetry. Looking at the list, I can clearly see that F has got no lines of symmetry. You can't put a line of symmetry vertically, or horizontally, or diagonally, or diagonally, or nowhere else on the shape that would have a line of symmetry. So an F has no lines of symmetry. Also, you can have the N. Because N, if you were to try and uh, reflect it uh, horizontally, it wouldn't reflect onto itself. Vertically, it wouldn't reflect over onto itself. Um, diagonally, no, it wouldn't. And double diagonal, no. So you could either have F or N. Now, obviously, I said one. I'm just writing two down just to show that you could do either one of those. Okay. Next question says only one line of symmetry, and the next question says two lines of symmetry. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw the lines of symmetry onto these shapes. So A would have a vertical line of symmetry like so. It doesn't have any others. E would have a horizontal line of symmetry like so. F doesn't have a line of symmetry. H has two. It's got a horizontal line of symmetry through the middle and a vertical line of symmetry through the middle. M has a line of symmetry through the middle like so and N doesn't have one. So the question then says only one line of symmetry, so we could either have A, E, or M. So A, E, or M. Obviously just write one in the test, I'm just writing three just to show you. And two lines of symmetry has got to be H. Okay, so here's another exam question. It says draw all the lines of symmetry onto this shape. So this shape has got two lines of symmetry. I will have one vertical line of symmetry through the middle like so. And I'll have another line of symmetry horizontally through the middle like so. Because if you were to fold it this way, it would go onto itself. And likewise, if you were to fold it that way, it would go onto itself. This exam question, it's, here it says we've got a regular hexagon, and it says draw a line of symmetry which passes through P. Okay, so let's draw a line of symmetry that passes through P. So it's going to have to be like so. Okay, and as you can see, if you were to reflect it, and the line of symmetry, it would look exactly the same. So, uh, it then says, how many lines of symmetry does a regular hexagon have? Well, that's one. I'm actually going to do it in red the other ones. Okay, now you don't have to do these in the test, but I was just going to do it in the show you. So that's one. You could have one down through the middle, like so. That's two. You could have one diagonally, like so. That's three. You could have one through this way. So, if I turn it around like this, you can see through the middle. And feel, uh, feel free to rotate your page as well, you know, to sort of see. So that's one, two, three, four. Uh, we could go this way. That's five. And we could also go this way. So that's six. So you've got one, two, three, four, 
five, six lines of symmetry. Now, earlier in the video, I said if you've got a regular shape, it's got the number of lines of symmetry is its number of sides. So, right, equilateral triangle would have three, a square would have four, regular pentagon, five, regular hexagon, six, and so on. But obviously, if it's not a regular shape, it won't have the number of lines of symmetry as the number of sides. So, for instance, this isosceles triangle only has one line of symmetry vertically through the middle, like so. Okay, it does definitely doesn't have three lines of symmetry. Okay, it's only got one line of symmetry. Okay, so regular shapes, if the number of lines of symmetry is the number of sides, uh, shapes that aren't regular, like this isosceles triangle, it may have one. If it's scaling, it may have zero. You know, it all depends on the shape, and you'd have to look at it on an individual basis.